man brutally beaten by Milwaukee police broke his long silence today. Frank Jude spoke today after accepting a $2 million settlement from the city. Tonight, Annie Scholes talked with a man who witnessed the violence. She's Annie. live downtown with details. Well, Shelly and Mike, this case cast a real shadow over the Milwaukee Police Department for years. Now, with this $2 million settlement, Jude says he just wants to move on. But I did speak with a man tonight who says he saw it all go down and believes Jude deserves every penny. I'm just a victim. I'm a victim of police brutality. Frank Jude Jr. addressing the public for the first time about the brutal beating he suffered at the hands of several off-duty police officers. It happened at a house party in Bayview back in 2004. I still got to deal with PTSD. I still got to take medication on and off my life. I'm not the same guy I was before. A neighbor, Andy Zerwinski, saw it all through his window. I seen him when they threw him in a, like a paddy wagon and everything, mm -hmm. and they stuck the pen in his ear and everything. I've seen everything. Zerwinski remembers two of the officers, John Bartlett and Andrew Spangler, angry. They were in plain clothes and accusing Jude of stealing a police badge that was never found. They had his hands like this and they were all beating him up. After what he saw, Zerwinski believes Jude is entitled to every bit of the $2 million settlement. I think it's good. Mm -hmm. I think it is. Mm -hmm. He deserves what he got. As for Jude, he wants to put it all in the past, saying this would be the only time he'd talk about it. I'm doing good. I'm doing great. I'm just trying to live my life and move on my life. Now, of the officers involved, only one was acquitted. The others are still in prison. Jude, meanwhile, has moved out of Milwaukee. The Milwaukee Police Department did release a statement today saying that they have seen citizen complaints go down, and they attribute that to a change in culture in the Milwaukee Police Department. On your side, live in Milwaukee, Annie Scholes, today's TMJ4. I thank you, Annie.